All right guys, so for the warm up today, what we're gonna do is begin with a 30 seconds of a stationary butt kick. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna ideally try to stay in place and get your heel all the way to your butt. If you want to, to make sure you're actually hitting the target, put your hands over your butt, just like that. And again, get the heel there. We're just trying to get the blood moving and the heart rate pumping and just wake you up a little bit. After that, we're gonna go five dumbbell deadlifts on each side. So this will be more of a, a stiff leg deadlift. We'll keep the dumbbell in the front of the body. Again, a nice flat back with the shoulders and the hips staying nice in the line as you push the hips back, creating a lot of tension in the hamstring again to get that nice and warmed up. Then we'll go to a 30 second high plank. So top of a push up position, arms nice and locked out, pushing the ground away, making sure our shoulder blades aren't pinched together, sucking that stomach in nice and tight, getting in that good push up position. And then we'll go five dumbbell deadlift high pulls on each side for a total of 10. So with that one, we're still gonna maintain that hips back and hips through, just adding a little bit more explosiveness as we pull up, getting that elbow up and back so that it's not shrugged up into our ear. We're hitting somebody right behind us. It's just a little bit taller, okay? So I wanna see almost that the elbow is level with the shoulder, not a rotation and a shrugging up into it, okay? So up and back when you come through. Okay. So for our strength portion today, it's going to be a little bit different than a typical strength portion. We're actually going to want to see um, some cardio movement in there because it's going to be a 10 minute AMRAP. This is actually the uh, first workout that CrossFit headquarters posted for the uh, Support Your Local Box initiative, which is what we shared with you guys the other day on the Instagram page. So if you don't know anything about it, it's very similar to the Open, um, if you've ever done that. It's gonna be three weeks of workouts that will be released by CrossFit HQ. Um, and then all of the proceeds that people donated when they signed up will go to um, support the boxes that are pretty much affected by everyone being shut down, okay? Because, you know, things happen and we wanna make sure that we're still around when we do open back up. It is completely free to sign up and donations are completely up to you. So if you really do feel like, you know, supporting us as much as I know you love us, then that would be something you guys can do to make sure that we're still gonna be here when we open back up, okay? So to start us off, again, like I said, it's a 10 minute AMRAP. You will begin with 10 air squats. So we wanna see the chest up tall, hip crease below the knee, knee staying nice and tracked out over the toes throughout the entirety of the movement. Then you'll go to nine dumbbell snatches or kettlebell snatches if you wanna make it harder. If you don't have anything, then just use something you can snatch over your head okay some luggage a dog baby whatever something okay then you're going to do nine push-ups and then we'll finish it out or sorry ten push-ups then you're going to go nine snatches on the left arm okay so again ten squats nine snatches on the right ten push-ups nine sweat snatches on the left and then we'll repeat that again like i said a total of 10 minutes and then your score is just however many rounds and reps you get within that So to finish this out for today will be um, some slight accessory movement to the stuff we've done uh, earlier. Like I said in the uh, support your local box workout, it's going to be every minute for 12 minutes alternating between two different movements. So you'll end up doing six rounds for each of the movements. Uh, for the first movement is going to be 30 seconds of a wall sit. So when we do this, I want to see the hips and the knees being a nice, you know, level plane and then the knees staying out tracked over the ankles okay so if I looked at you from the side it should be a very nice right angle if you need to scoot up higher that's gonna be how you take away a lot of the burning sensation that you're gonna get from this I don't want to see pushing off of your knees with your hands and just stiff arming yourself like that 
uh, if that's cheating, ideally I want hands on the head or just relax and nice and down by your side, okay? So obviously I can't police you on this one, just use the honor code system and hopefully you're not cheating me out, okay? And then the second movement, so when that timer, when that 30 seconds is done, you'll have that 30 seconds to rest. When your next minute shows up, you will give me eight to 10 Cossack squats total. So that's four to five on each leg. Ideally, I only want this to be something that takes you about 30 to 45 seconds to get done. If you're pushing five and you're done at the 55 second mark, you need to cut that back down to uh, four on each side, okay? When we do this, again, almost like with the air squat with the nice tall chest and the knee staying tracked out over the toe, that's uh, what we wanna see the continuation from that. Obviously with the nice wide stance, we're gonna be getting a little bit lower, so make sure we're initiating that with a slight hips back first as we bend the knee to come over, okay? So almost like we're starting to sit back, but again, the chest will stay tall, hip below the knee, and then knee tracked out over the toe. And then that's gonna be it for today, guys.